you for your word. The people that are here, Lord, they are tired. Some of them don't even know what else to do. But because it's only you, who is more than enough? Tell neighbor, neighbor, you can be everything to everyone. Otherwise, you will be drained. You can't please everybody. Otherwise, you will be drained. Most of the people that are here, you are just tired. And the Lord knows it. He puts us in predicaments. He puts us in predicaments to make us understand that we will never be enough. And once you understand that there are things that you'll never be able to do, stop asking God. Stop hitting yourself hard. Stop blaming God. Stop blaming yourself. Tell them, there's only one person here on earth who is enough. Now you've been trying by might and by power. There's nothing so painful like a frustrated Christian. Because we lift our hands, we sing, we are happy here in church. When we turn our backs and we go to our homes. That's where the core is, the pain. The deep-seated wounds. The confusion. The lack of confidence. The exhaustion, the anxiety. What did I do? The loneliness, the uncertainty. The fear. Not in a crowd. You try so many things, you give out so much, you love so much. But you must know that you can never receive everything you give. You do so much. And I think the Lord, naturally, is an intellectual. I'm just going to take a text there was a situation that he created. And it's merely to remind the people that he was with that sometimes in our lives we feel like we are just not enough for people that are in our lives. You, you ever felt that? ourselves so well. The core of the matter. When I'm alone, because I'm not sure if I'm enough, I doubt me. I'm unhappy with me because I don't think I have it. We might act like we got this thing.
Tell them, I know you look like you got this thing. <laughs> but sometimes you feel like you are just not enough. It's good to feel that way. Because then it brings you back to God. Realistic, not idealistic. But hey, I don't know what to do now. La, I shangan land. God appreciates real people, not idealistic people. Life puts you under so much pressure that you have to paint a picture. Have you ever come across certain things and the closer you get, it's not what you thought it is? Because you can't be everything to everyone. That one you must be rest assured and have peace. But out of the ten people that I'm working with, five will just not want me. For no reason. Now if we knew that we can never be enough, we would stay longer. Pastor, it takes 30 minutes to have a wedding. It takes 20 years to have a good marriage. Once you know that I am not enough, Now, people are taught to be hype. To stretch themselves so far until they break. Depression, oppression, stress. Biza, 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 ngati example, luganti, gula okona. Amen! Only if you knew. Chomiak, you can't be everything to everyone. Alwasu tatanya motoko. And sometimes you can't help people when you yourself are in ICU. Uh -uh, there's always people that are going to use you as a crutch. There's always people that are going to criticize you. There's always people that are not, never going to appreciate you. There's always people that are going to see everything wrong. But you must understand. I know somebody who's got it all. His name is Jesus. He's more than enough. He's sufficient. He's all-knowing. And I find refuge in him. Because he understands the people that he's with. So he's asking them and he's aware of the answer. Tata Jesus. 
Buddy, Baba. There's so many people and they are hungry. <laughs> A question and an answer. Stimuli and response. Ore. What do we have? He's asking something that he knows. That's why Jesus is very intelligent. If you look at the Bible, every time he met a situation, he did not jump to resolve the issue. He would always ask you, what do you want me to do for you? So that you acknowledge, I need him. It's one thing to say, Baba, if you don't come through, it's another thing to go, there's a big girl. I, I got this. I was delivered a few years back. <laughs> hey! Sometimes you break. All your connections, all the friends, education, money, sometimes even your health fails you. We are so stressed. stress. The problem with the church is teaching people to shout victory stuff, not when they meet real life. Outside, yes, she's. Now, if you know, I know me. I can never be enough. So if your manager says, hey, you're not performing. <laughs> You know you. And when you know you, you know what you are not. Even in a relationship, when you know who you are, you don't need approval. Now, I've got so many young people, women, girls, who find themselves in situations that no longer serve them purpose because they want to be enough. You can never be enough, no matter how much you can do. People give out everything, but they get nothing back. That's a principle of life. It's only Jesus who can help you to keep a man that needs to be kept. There's no woman who can keep a, a man without Jesus. <laughs> There's no man that can keep a woman without Jesus. There's no child that can respect parents without Jesus. There is no promotion that can come without Jesus. There is no balance sheet that can expand without Jesus. There's no acquisition. There is nothing without Jesus because he is more than enough. He's creating a situation and is asking the people that he was with who were never saved. Jesus' disciples were nice to have but they were not saved. You only saw the response when there was a situation. But the people are hungry. When Jesus hears that there's a need, he pays attention. But when you come to him like a big guy, he retracts. He's a gentleman. He doesn't want to impose. He wants to deal with children. So these people are saying, Kiri 25, kipatale, kitlukele. Yeah! Babi la bandu, laba, aba real. Kiri exams, ki feite di prelim, oru nyonge enanje pepe. Jesus. Kiri interviews, will I even be appointed? where I should be. Will I ever get to where I want to be? I'm looking at my peers. I'm looking at my family. I'm looking at my siblings. Everyone is looking at me. I can't do it all. Jesus! It's too much. He 
Yes, I want to do it. But I can't. There's only one, one person that can help me. And these people are with this powerful person they don't acknowledge. They're discussing a problem. But the people who are there who are hungry. Tell neighbor, who are to baguette pasta? But say, you are much. siblings who don't have anywhere to go. My kids who don't understand what a father, father figure is. Well, uh, hunger does not mean you have nothing to eat. Sometimes you can be hungry for love, for attention sense of belonging, success, peace of God. It's a need in many ways. And each one of us, we have special needs. Now they classified those people as people who are hungry. But they were not all hungry for food, but Hungry for destiny, hungry for vision, direction, security, certainty, stability. Because I'm not getting any younger. Daddy, we have just go to John 6. We have 200 pieces, but they are not enough. I've been holding on, but I don't think there's a future. Everything that I do, I can't finish. The vision is here, but I can't execute. I know exactly what I'm all about. If I have the idea, I don't have the product. If I have an opportunity, I don't have the resources. I can never be enough. Lord, help me. I have stopped living and handed over my life. God Are there any parents who know what it is to sacrifice and not do things for yourself as long as your kids are fine? Yay! Are there any people here who say, at home, if I don't make sure that they have food, Pastor, get few. Jesus Jesus. Jesus knows. He knew. He created that situation. Those people came for him. But what we have, it's not enough. Jesus is the one that gave you that job. Jesus is the one that gave you that family. But you can never be enough. You need him. Yes, Pastor. John, John chapter 6, from verse 5 to 7. Then Jesus lifted up his eyes, and seeing a great multitude coming towards him, he said to Philip, Where shall we buy bread that they may eat? Verse 6. But this he said to test him. For he himself knew what he would do. He, F Philip is going to Jesus. Eh? Blessing is going to Jesus. Baba, I have a situation. I want to study. I want to do this. What must I say? But Jesus knew what Philip is asking him. He knew the answer. Now what you are asking Jesus, tell neighbor. He's got the data. 
He knows. He knows exactly this time next year what is going to happen to you. It's a good sign to get tired because that's when you run to him. Where do we buy the bread? Where do I start looking for a job? I would, where do I start stabilizing this marriage? Where do I start recalling this child? The society has taken him. Where do I start with these debts? Yeah! If you don't do it, it just won't be done. The Lord, just fix it for me. we sing them, but the way that they carry. Please ask your neighbor, neighbor have you ever been in a cul-de-sac? Oh, as you are straight or you are left or we are move. <laughs> That's Max. We are, we are reading Mark 6. Hey? Uh, John 6. Philip. Philip is going to Jesus with the problem. I tell neighbor, neighbor, when I go by young kid, right? Go by nine four seven times two. Mudi mu na lo kore au pa isi se. So that you know, I might be working, I might be this, I might be, this, but I'm not enough. I need him. If he doesn't do it, people forget. Philip has forgotten whom he's following. He is discussing a problem. That's you now when you are in your bedroom and you are trying to sleep and your eyes are red. You are crying to Jesus, but he knows everything. He knows. He creates that situation so that you know, I can't do it on my own. The things I teach here, it's not when things are okay. It's when things are not fine and the test comes. Because that's where the devil finds you. When your mind is wandering and worried, you can't pray when you are worried. Now you have to have enough data to counteract what life does to you. You've got no, in, no, you've got no influence, but you've got all the influence how you need to respond. I'm in this situation, but I must keep focused. I must not panic. Now, the people who are supposed to be helping Jesus are the ones who are panicking. Oh, there's so many people, there's no food, there's no this, now we end in the To Jesus, what do we have? What do you have? You have people that love you. But we also get tired of the people that love us. Amen. Uh -uh. Or oh, is it me alone? Yo, umdanos of Funa is Catulong or six, or seven, a funny laptop, or eight, a funny phone. Hi, ball! <laughs> Just tell me, don't be holy on me. There are people that you also get tired of. Amen. You, you can't. Please them. The more you do, the more they want. Mama, I'm going to you. You think, Mama, <laughs> your sister, when you see the phone call, Gazi. <laughs> no, they don't call to say, how's it? We love you. With me. Ah, he loaded. Dance. And if you understand that it's okay to say no sometimes. It's good. But I'm not Jesus Christ for everybody. Nami, I need my own God. But you people are taught that you are mighty and more muscle than Jesus himself. You'll crack, you'll collapse. Holy Spirit, empty tank. Oh, you get to a point. 
<laughs> when you say I can't, I shall. Ang sas ni wut ngenze. Ba pila banta ba ti prophet as ukulma na 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 sexen manj. Wenge koshot. Ana kasi wut kwa na na ki preach. A wut libo hallelujah. Kuto la kuri tu. Shapa mo. Yeah. Kibo ali no. Bam bloki le prophet. <laughs> life does what it because life is not a straight line but when it does what it does what do you do that's the important thing can never please everybody otherwise you will be crazy he's just asking them what is it that is in our head bring it here it's not even the fish and the loaves that's not enough It's the faith that the disciples don't have. Because if you don't have the confidence to say where I am, I am okay. Now I'm looking at next door, I'm looking at in front, I'm looking at the back and I'm comparing my life with somebody else. And I'm hitting myself so hard. That's why so many people have got so many things to say thank you Jesus for but they don't have time to even be grateful Some of you you find peace in your phone uvuka ukijimela iphone uyadla ukijimela uyahamba ukija because there's no sense of belonging you would rather pursue people you don't know pastor why are people so happy that 500 people are following them people who don't know them when their child can't come and talk to them hmm? our families are gadgets now tell you that's the longest when no one phone you akmola some people fall in love with their phone first because they don't believe that someone can love them you will be surprised how many people are on the social media waiting for you to post something because they don't have anything to do o runs o te maro prophet i can hear you i've got ears here Because I don't want you to be frustrated Christians. Everyone is in church today. But very few people are happy. <laughs> And they're going back to the same houses. Same offices. Now how do you expect someone to help you and make you happy when you don't know that you are good but you can't be enough for everybody? Yes, Pastor. Verse six. But this he said to test him, mm. for he himself knew what he would do. Jesus Verse knows what he's going to do. Tell neighbor, neighbor Jesus knows. Abahamba ilafine ko abahamba abasala ya mabasale. today make up your minds amen loaded This is a prophetic service. If you don't want to hear the truth, don't come here because it's an anornegel ka how how mo ban. It's not prophet by title. Prophet by execution, not even by default. That's the only thing that will make sure that what you call me it's what it is when I speak and it happens. 
So these are the dynamics that we must understand, all of us. In life, you can never please everybody. No matter how much. He knows what he's going to do, but he's still asking them, what are we going to do? What would Jesus say, gentlemen? Abana mauza give me, eh, prophet, kushikuti, eh, muyo ngwele, wambile, wangibeli zolo, eh, mnangas tulel. Other people, they come and they sit. They don't say any. That's when I tell you, one, two, three, four, this will happen, do this, do that. When it's actualized, it doesn't become a problem, a, pro, a surprise. God has got no mouth. He's got no body. He's got no hands. He uses people. Now you may have to be able to pay attention when God speaks. Because <laughs> God speaks through people. Yes. But this he said to test him, for he himself knew what he would do. Verse 7. Philip answered him, 200 denarii's worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may have a little. I'm a crumbs. Do you know that in our lives there are people who deserve loaves but because we don't know that we can never be enough you give those who deserve loaves you give them crumbs. Yeah, that's why it's easy to love somebody in Instagram, Facebook ungamjelanga wa kumtwana. Ukuthi uyamthanda People that deserve so much. But you don't acknowledge. Hey. They don't understand. About Philip, they were never saved. Ah, that was a gangster. That was not disciples. They were not saved. They never had the vision, the love, the wisdom the passion that God had for people. Declare in your life, if it's the loneliness, that's the last year. If it's divorce, it's whatever it is. No more. Leg live. Tell neighbor, goodness, cut. I eyelash, I shall. My petrol is stressed. No, go forget to. The only thing we package ourselves so well, but what we go through, Pastor, you'll be shocked. Can I buy a cool mobile one? Baba, in Jesus' name. <laughs> Pressure. But when you come out there, you look like, oh, hallelujah. Do it, look. God, thing on the meal. Plan until God gives me grace, until grace founds me, I'm done. I never knew that grace can find me, never knew. We all have our files. Please tell me before you become holy on me. So, can we have what? Tomorrow it's a holiday, Pastor. Go up, say N one. A pan square veil. You go and zani hannes. Holy Scripture. Here we are, walking freely. No desire. We can just watch them. Siba halali se. God, because God created the situation to bring you back. How can you go back? question, Jesus has an answer. That one I can assure you. Last week I told you, he will never tell you when. But he, what he said, he will do. 
Yes. Philip replied, even if we worked for months, we wouldn't have enough money to feed them. Thank you. Even if we had... <laughs> even if we worked for months, we wouldn't have enough to feed them. Tell neighbor, neighbor, you are going to surpass the peers that thought they are ahead of you. They will labor for years. When you have this enabler, now let's in the most Google TV. Now go my magazine. Tell Neb Ozobanas. God. Even if we had to work for months, that's a human being telling a spirit being. <laughs> they didn't have a revelation. You see, God, you can't explain him. He needs to be revealed. How do I explain to you that it's enough when you have 200? They don't get me. You know, I declare things. When you look at them, you'll even laugh. Pastor, I'm entering. Because I have somebody who is enough. I have someone who has enough. Now, if you keep on putting one plus one is level, not for me. I get what I want. I don't use credit cards. I use faith. They are telling a spirit being. A word is spoken in your life. And you want to cross-examine God and get him to a kangaroo court. Because you don't understand. He is enough.